kids and Grove families and happy neon day. I'm so excited to hang out with you guys this morning. So before we begin, I have a very important task. Kids, I need you. If your parents or grandparents or families, whoever you are with right now is not with you watching this video, go grab them because they have a really important part to play in today's video. While you do that, I'm going to pray for us and then we'll get started. So God, would you be with us as we learn about you? Thank you for giving us your word so we can hear about who you are and so that our families can grow to know and trust you. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Awesome. Are you ready? Now today we are going to be listening and answering a really big question. Who is in charge of everything? So as you listen to today's story, I want you to listen and be thinking about that question so that we can answer it after our story is over. Then families stick around after our Bible story because we have a few age level discussion starters and conversation starters for you to implement in your homes. King Ahasuerus was the king of Persia. Many years earlier, when Cyrus was king, he sent some of God's people back to Judah to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. Some of God's people stayed in Persia. God's people were called Jews because they were from Judah. The king of Persia chose Esther to be his queen. Esther didn't tell the king that she was a Jew. One day, Mordecai heard that Haman, an important leader who worked for the king, was planning to kill all the Jews. Mordecai was upset. He was a Jew. He didn't want all the people he loved to be killed. Mordecai and all the Jews cried. Esther didn't know what was wrong. She sent a messenger to ask Mordecai why all the Jews were upset. Mordecai told Esther about Haman's evil plan. You have to do something, Mordecai said. Ask the king to stop Haman. Ask him to save the Jewish people. Esther sent a message back to Mordecai. No one can approach the king unless the king calls for that person first, Esther said. The punishment is death. Unless the king holds out his scepter, then you may live. You're a Jew, Mordecai said. If you don't stop Haman, he will kill you too. Maybe this is why you are the queen. Maybe God put Esther in the palace to save her people. Esther asked Mordecai and the Jews to fast for three days. Then Esther would go to the king, even if it meant she might die. On the third day, Esther went to the king. He saw Esther and held out his golden scepter. What is it, Queen Esther? The king asked. What do you want to ask me? I'll give you anything, up to half of my kingdom. Esther said, would you and Haman come to a feast today? So Haman and the king went to Esther's feast. After eating, the king said, What do you want, Queen Esther? I'll give you anything, up to half of my kingdom. Come to my feast tomorrow, Esther said. The king agreed. The next day, Haman and the king went to Esther's feast. After eating, the king said, What do you want, Queen Esther? I'll give you anything, up to half my kingdom. Esther spoke up. There is a plan to kill me and my people. The king replied, Who is responsible for this plan? This evil enemy, Haman, Esther said. The king was angry. He punished Haman and made a law to keep the Jewish people safe from their enemies. God was in control over Haman's evil plan to destroy the Jews. Like Haman, Satan wants to ruin God's plan and destroy believers. Satan thought he had won when Jesus died on the cross, but God raised Jesus from the dead and defeated Satan once and for all. All who believe in Jesus are rescued from sin and death. All right, so who is in charge of everything? God is in control of everything in heaven and on the earth. So God wasn't surprised by Haman's plan to kill the Jews. God was in control and he is still in control today. All right, families, are you ready? Now, take a look at these age level conversation starters to continue conversations in your home about our story today. 
Stewarding conversations about Jesus can be really simple, but this is how our families grow in their love of God together. So take a minute to chat as a family, then stick around for worship with us. We also have one family challenge for today's key passage. So I want you as a family to read, write, memorize, and practice learning 1 Peter 5.10. I'll see you guys next week. Stop working, you never stop, you never stop working.